Hey there, it's Adrian over at The Samplist, and today we are checking out Elegance from Audio Brewers. This sample library is being released on Piano Day, the 29th of March 2023. Oh, if you are watching on Piano Day, happy Piano Day! We've made it to the 88th day of 2023. Elegance features a Yamaha C5 Grand Piano sampled using multiple mic positions, including various ambient sonics microphones. Resulting recordings were mixed in Audio Brewer's Dolby Atmos Studio. This allows the library to be used in stereo, Atmos VR and even custom speaker arrays. Elegance weighs in at just over 15GB and comes in two versions. A stereo version priced at €79 Euros, and a stereo with Ambient Sonics version at €149. Euros. You will need the full version of Contact, this library will not work with the Contact player. There will also be a Grand Piano bundle, which will include the sample libraries Pianoforte and Elegance. The intro price for this is set at €119, Euros, and then after that it will rise to €139 Euros for the stereo version. The stereo and Ambient Sonics version of these two libraries, Pianoforte and Elegance, will have an intro price of €199, Euros, and this will then be €269 Euros once that introduction offer is over. Little before we start the uh, preset playthrough, a little note of how I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do so get the full sound of the piano on each of these patches. We will play a little scale in the middle of the keyboard, a little scale at the bottom of the keyboard, and a little scale at the top, followed by a short piece of music. Just get the full idea of how this piano sounds.
let's see what you actually get with elegance from audio brewers if you open the instruments folder you're presented with these several presets here and you'll notice after the end of these you actually have some extra words like soft pedal una corda there's nothing after that mic position bit now audio brewers when they recorded this uh, made the actual sample library so anything that says soft pedal means that if you've got a pedal for your controller that transmits on midi cc67 you can actually play the own unicorda samples and the normal samples now unicorda means one string so when a, you play a normal piano the hammer hits three strings normally now for a softer sound you can push a pedal and it moves the body off slightly and then it only hit one string on the piano so it gets a bit, bit of a softer sound and this is a great way of making your bumps is a bit more sort of unique and uh, more emotive without having to swap between separate patch like patches and samples on the main screen we have a couple of macros at the front and you can assign these macros to absolutely anything and i'll show you how to do that after uh, low pass filters are in there and you can set your reverbs in the modulation page you can have different types of modulation of normal ADS envelopes, ample offsets, velocities, dynamics, pitch, gate, volume LFOs, and even an arpeggiator. You can only have one of these at once on these four channels. You can't have, say, two velocity curves. It wouldn't make any sense, really, but you can't really do that. Uh, and there's no need to actually want to be able to do that, I don't think. In the effects page, you have a multitude of effects you can actually apply to the piano sound. You have filters, dynamic processor, signal distortion, delay, reverb. Uh, it's, it's fantastic how you can shape your sound. And in the mixer section, it is set to ears. That doesn't mean ears of a piano, it means the actual player's ears. Um, so we've got also a microphone for the actual soundboard and a microphone for the actual frame. All you need to do to make those active is just click on them. If it's highlighted, like I click on that that's highlighted now, that means that microphone is now active. If you don't want a certain effect on that particular microphone, click on it and it'll just disable that effect for that microphone. You can then tighten how close that microphone is getting to the frame, say, and do the same for the board and the and the ears. Now, there's also this little hamburger menu. And in the hamburger menu, this tells you what elements and articulations are active. At this current time, we have keystroke, sustain, attack resonance, pitch down resonance, and pedal. These are activate, activated by anything that's green down here. Those are the ones. So if I click on if I take, say, attack resonance off, it'll turn to purple. Now, if I want to turn it on, all I need to do is hit that piano key. Now, this is out, those keys are out of the realms of your normal 88 notes. So either you'll have to assign another controller to those keys or use your mouse to click on them. No, no big deal. Um, this is another thing you can actually do is assign any of these macros any of these effects or modulations. So if I want to say I want to change well, if I want to change the attack there, all I need to do is hold shift on my keyboard and click. Now I can assign that now to any of the four macros on the front. So I'll say I want instead of having a low pass on the front page as a macro, I'll have the ADSR attack. If I go onto that now, it's there. That's a great thing. There's also a little cool thing I'm going to show you now is by showing you what other uh, articulations are available. If you go into sound design, watch that piano graphic when it loads. I think it's really, really cool. See how it melts in. Little thing, but it, it, it looks really cool. And if you click on the hamburger menu here, you, when you go into the sound design, you get a few more articulations. And these relate to the purple keys here. So if I I'll click on the muted 
down here, this, this green one. See how Muty just came on there? We'll click on it again. So I can group these into five different groups. So we've got five groups to play with and anything assigned to those groups will play. Just a great way of shaping your sound. Just thought I'd also touch on what these articulations actually sound like because they actually have a sound all of their own. At the moment we only have keystrokes, sustains and strings on. Now if I put whirlwind on, it's a different type of sound. If I put high on, wash, this is the sound a bit. Give us your tune. Raining. The old uh, wild west honky tonk. Buttered. First. Re reversed, so it's like reverse on reverse. Frozen. If we go back to the normal piano sound and look at the hamburger menu again on the elements, these keystroke sustains attack resonance, pitch down resonance pedal. You can actually alter the volume of these. Uh, so if I want to hear more of keystroke, just up volume. Hear the slight little click. The stains are the again and alter the pedal noise as well so he gets a bit more that little knock that's just me moving my pedal I uh, mean sustain pedal you got like a percussion effect as well so when you play That's really, really great way of shaping the sound. Okay, so let's hear what elegance from the audio brewers actually sounds like in context. And for this little demonstration, I've put together a track using quite a familiar piece of music with a little twist.
So let's take a look at what's actually going on here. Um, on the first track, we just have the normal Yamaha grand piano sound. And on its own, sounds quite lovely. The little rumble that you hear every now and again is the same pedal that we mentioned in the articulations section of the video. Coupled with that, I decided to put some bass notes in using the long arcs articulations. There's a bit more movement to the sound. Delicate enough. Now, to actually bolster that piano sound that we heard in the first track, I did two separate tracks. This one is the Frozen Piano. Is a more distant feel, and then when you couple it with a normal piano sound, it just gives that emotive effect. Uh, and I decided I wanted a little bit more from the sound, what I was aiming for, and. Put the lovely dreaming piano samples into them and pitched them down a whole octave to give it a bit more muffled but full more full bodied rounded sound. When you add in the frozen string uh, piano sound. And then I add in the main piano. And then finally add some of those lovely strings type sounds. My thoughts on this library uh, elegance from audio brewers you can physically hear how much effort and passion audio brewers have put into sampling the Yamaha C5 Grand Piano this has resulted in a truly stunning library not only do you have a fully fledged great sounding grand piano you also get other synthesis techniques to truly make the sound your own the addition of adding a soft pedal is icing on the cake and I would have no hesitation to recommend this library if you are on the lookout for a versatile, out of the box piano experience. This is the one. I would like to thank Audio Brewers for sending across Elegance for a review, it is very much appreciated. And I also hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel and visit thesamplist.com. And one last thing, if you're watching this on the 29th of March, Happy Piano Day.